Welcome back, guys, to Factorio Meiosis. This is episode number seven. We've got more blueprints. We've got roads. We've got things hooked up. We've got everything you want. It's your one-stop shop for Meiosis goods. Okay, so this guy last time was not hooked up. I have since hooked him up, and we have a blueprint for that, but I actually put that in storage because we have another project to do for the beginning of the episode, but uh, basically it's this guy. It's a version of the diagonal section, and uh, it just has these little guys added onto it. And I have updated my Factorio Blueprints webpage profile. There's a link in the description for all these videos if you want to look at all of the blueprints I've currently uploaded um, surrounding this series, all the, all the ones that we're using for this series. And I will continue to add more as we go. Okay, so uh, this guy is fully hooked up ready to go. I have them unplugged because we're not, we don't have the uh, the green circuit, the electronic circuit set up yet anyway, so there's no point to having them running, and they were a phenomenal power drain. Uh, you don't see any power there because it's not hooked up to the main system. Yeah, but they were a ridiculous power drain. Let me go click on this guy. So I have 1,600 solar panels in the main system now, and 200 steam engines, which aren't being used because we're running on pure solar power. During the night, I subsist on seven gigajoules of accumulator capacity, and then after that, steam engine. Uh, okay, so, um, yeah, all those engines, they take up a lot. These 103 I have hooked up currently aren't all fully active, so they're only pulling 600 kilowatts. But when they're all active, and all of these guys did go active... All of my drills and all of my furnaces, that was a stupid amount of power. I actually lost power everywhere. And a, a, a colossal spitter got into my base and started tearing up this, this copper patch. Oh man, it was nasty. But okay, so in other news, we have roads. Look how awesome it looks. The reason we have this, by the way, uh, there's a reason that there is this sharp turn here and not a more graceful curve. That is because we are future-proof in this sucker like no other. So in the future, we're eventually going to need two lanes going each way, two lanes going left, two lanes going right. Right now, we just have one going left, one going right. So I have that uh, kind of system in mind. We are basing it on the distance that the power, the uh, substations provide power. So right now, that would be the next substation. And the next rail line would be here. And then we would have like... I don't know, maybe that much. So that's what that spacing is about. See how that kind of gives you just a little bit there as a border? Okay, good. That's what that's for. Now I've explained it. Now you should know. If anyone else asks questions, help me out and inform them. So I have a number of blueprints for the roads, which I will show you. I have them in a chest. I have yet to download that other blueprint mod, which helps you... Uh, store and recall your blueprints. I think I may have to use it because the amount of blueprints I have is getting a bit ridiculous. Now, you see, last time I was telling you, I was explaining how having a road would make it very simple to navigate just traveling. I'm not even paying attention to where I'm going. I'm just following the road. And so instead of going straight through here and ending up with nowhere to go, I just followed the road. Follow the follow the graveyard road, follow the graveyard road, and it just led me right through. Uh, no big deal. There is no road leading to the stem cell, because the stem cell, it's uh, it's going extinct sooner or later. <laughs> so I didn't bring a road to it. Okay, so here we are to stem cell. It's night already. Man, these days are too short. Let me show you the blueprints I've uploaded to the uh, to my, uh, my profile on factorioblueprints.com. So we already had this one, the straight section, the offload section... The uh, diagonal section, this is the new one with the exits. We already had the gate, the uh, the U-turn, and the bendy and the other bendy. And now we've got some road ones. So we've got a straight road. We've got a bend for the road. Then we've got a diagonal road. And then a, uh, a 90 degrees to 45 degrees one direction and the other direction. And then this guy right here is a spacer. Because of that... Uh, that future proofing I was talking about where we're gonna need to add a second lane to the railroads um, I kind of need to remember how far off from that we're building without trying to count each time like one two three four five six seven so I built a spacer blueprint to tell me how far off to uh, 
to build. Okay, but now what we need to do, uh, we need to make our life a little bit easier. We need to upgrade our armor to the Power Armor Mark II. It has a 10 by 10 grid. The Power Armor Mark I we're in right now has 7 by 7. And that may not seem like a big deal, but if you think about it, 7x7 7 7 is 49, 10 by 10 is 100. That's a little bit more than double the grid space, and we will have less little kind of leftover spaces like this that we can't do anything with. So the 4x4s and the 2x2s and the 4x2s are going to fit in there much better. So to make that, what do we need? We need three efficiency module threes and three speed module threes, and I did make a blueprint for this. Let me lay that down. Put a little space there. And then we will have to convert this. And let's see if I did my math right. So we want you to be efficiency, right? Yeah, I didn't research the other one. Okay, and then we want efficiency too. Shift right click, shift left click. And then here, reset. And then we'll shift right click, then shift left click. There we go, and then they need some power. There we go. Okay, so uh, this is just a temporary little setup. Later on, we're gonna make a ton of these things to increase our overall capacity or whatever, but the main thing we need to do, we need to, I need to kill some aliens. We need to take this oil patch. I need to kill these guys down here. We get attacked on this southern border too much anyway. I'm constantly replacing turrets along our southern border. And you can see, let's see, right over, this is the belt for my red lines right over here. This is my buffer chest for extras. And the line is empty because we're not making any plastic because uh, we're not pulling any oil out of the ground anymore. We need more oil patches. So we need to uh, get this suit up and going. That'll make our construction easier because we can carry more robots around with us. Currently, I can only hold three of these personal roboports. They, own, they all have a limit of 10, and because I only have one fusion reactor, they recharge really slow. So I want at least three fusion reactors and more of these things. And we can also move faster, have better armor, kill aliens faster. So it's just going to make everything better. Now, um, I did some math, and I probably screwed it up. Every time I do math in these things, I screw it up, and I have to fix it later. <laughs> but I tried to do the math, so I set up all of these to go with that. We need... Five speed module threes and five speed, uh, efficiency model threes. They have the same recipes that you just substitute the blue for the green. So uh, five blues, uh, five, five speed module threes mean we need 20 speed module twos, mean we need 80 speed module ones. So I, I divvied them up. If I do this, is it only going to do 25 or is it going to do a full stack? I did that. Okay, good. Da! Oh, so annoying. So I had to, I had a stone patch here at one point. I had to reroute some stuff. Apparently I forgot to hook the light oil back up. These guys were not producing anything, not because I was out of oil, which I kind of am, but I have a decent stockpile of crude, which I didn't bother to check. I've got a good stockpile of crude, but the... The, these guys were backed up. They were unable to produce because there was nowhere for the light oil to go. Because this little piece was gone. When I rerouted stuff, when this stone patch got emptied out, I forgot to hook up one thing. Now we're producing plastic. Now we're going to produce blues. I had to uh, go take this stuff because I... Guess what? I did the math wrong, but it's not entirely my fault. Because the ratios are not the same, and I could have sworn they used to be. So speed modules are four. Speed modules three take four. Speed modules two. Speed module twos take four. Speed modules one. And I thought that had always been four to four for the ratio. But look at this. Efficiency module three takes five. Great. This one takes four. They all take four except for this one. And I kind of wonder, what does efficiency model... Three take. This takes five. Oh, I guess productivity is better. Well, okay. Anyway, uh, I have some more stuff to produce, and then we're going to kill some aliens. All right, it is time for more robots. I am clicking the button. Power Armor Mark II being researched, or 
I, I already researched it, but it's being constructed right now. 25 seconds. I have an extra two portable fusion reactors. I've got an extra two basic exoskeleton equipment. I've got three more personal roboports. 50 more robots. We won't be able to hold them all, but uh, they stack to 50, so I got two stacks. Then I have eight shields. There it is, Bablamo. Okay, so let's unequip this one. This is gonna be awesome. Let's go ahead and do that. Put those there. Oh, they stack to five. Okay, never mind. Whatever. Okay. This thing, guess what? It's going in the obsolete chest. Seven by seven? No, we got a 10 by 10. There we go. Bam. 10 by 10. Ba boom. Ba boom. Ba boom. Okay, so we've got three of those. I don't know the optimal balance uh, as far as the roboports go, but one was not enough. One of these. Uh, Fusion reactors was definitely not enough to power three of these. So I'm going to bump that up to four. And then let's just try four of those and then five shields. That's kind of slow. Uh, let's get a third legs. Now, if I was only going pure offense and if I didn't want to build anything, like I just wanted to run around with... with uh, Destroyer capsules and my shotgun. I would use a different setup. I would use uh, probably I would use two of these fusion reactors, and I would use six legs and five shields and no personal roboports. But we're going to be doing some turret creep right here. Okay, we got some guys here, so let's go ahead and let's see where's the nearest. Quite far away. Okay, actually, let's do this. So if you click it and hold it, and then just run with it. It'll place it for you, like that, and then I have you and you. Oh yeah, get wrecked. Okay, so uh, by the way, the evolution factor, which is a hidden number, there is a mod that'll show it for you, but as you kill more aliens, as time goes by, um, and I think there's another factor as well, I can't remember what it is, but more dangerous enemies will evolve, and so now we have their final form. We have the green ones, which are the colossal biters and spitters. They are quite tough. There's one right. Uh, it's hard to. It's hard to click on them before they get killed, though. Okay, robots. Chris splats. And I would like to look to see how fast these are recharging. Although I am putting them through their paces. All right, more turrets. That's right. Oh, I did the ro Oh, I did the um the one the wall. I didn't mean to do that. All right, let's get rid of some of these bases. We can just run in here cuz we're faster, we're tougher. We got shields. We can blow up that rock. It's dark, but we have lights. Okay, let's expand sideways. Okay, good. Take out all these guys. How many turrets I have? Oh, uh, okay, I got plenty. We're fine. Wouldn't hurt to expand the lights either. Get in here, just run in here, and just go, go hand with the shotty. Because I have the shields, I'm way tankier, and my shields recharge pretty quick. More turrets. Have a uh, hundred at least. And because I can use more robots now, and they recharge faster, we can do this turret creep stuff way quicker. So a whole lot of biters have been killed. Time to do some building. Here is the area. Let me hang on. Let me stop. Stop, please. There you go. Okay, so uh, cleared out a nice big swath here. Getting attacked much less often. That's good. So uh, one of the things we need to figure out, which I have just figured out, really simple addition to the, the loader here, is we needed a way to resupply the trains, the locomotives, with coal. And so let me grab one right, uh, right there. So we are going to have a train going around and delivering coal to other train stations to keep those trains topped off on coal. So he's just going to be a one locomotive, one caboose kind of guy. Uh, because he is going to fit in right here. I've got a smart loader, which is set to only allow the train to offload coal. Um, so it's going to, and there's only enough here for one stack, one stack, one stack, one stack, and they stack to 50. So 200 coal here, and when a big coal train that like 
is uh, going off to our future steam pump or wherever we need a lot of coal. Um, this thing is gonna fill up so fast that it's not like it's going to be hampering the loading of the main train. So I just wanna try it out to see if it works. We need to give this guy some starter coal. And then we'll give him a root and see if it works. So we wanna start at the coal cell. And I think probably just like 15 seconds or maybe 20 seconds is enough to fill up. We only have two stops right now. Uh, and then after that, which one is closer? He's gonna come down here. I guess it would make sense to go to copper and then iron, although it doesn't really matter since he's gotta go to both. Let's go to copper first. Okay, and really probably only 10 seconds is enough. And then we'll go to iron for 10 seconds and then come on back. So we're gonna ride it, see how it does. All right, let's do it. 20 seconds here. Let's turn on that so we can see it work. There we go. He's already fill up. He's already full up. Um, this is filling up super fast. Maybe 20 seconds. I think 15 is fine. Let's change that to 15. He's full. And he's only going to be dropping at maximum four stacks of coal. But usually as he goes around and around and around and around, he's going to be dropping much less than that. Oh, there's no power here. Uh... I turned it off because it's using a lot of power when it's not doing anything useful. Okay, that's already full. Oh, you're picking up. Okay, we need to change that. Uh, hang on. Stop. Made a mistake. Okay, so this caboose, important thing. We need to make sure that it only accepts steel. Or it only accepts uh, coal. So I'm shift middle mouse cl clicking. Middle mouse button, the scroll wheel. Shift, middle mouse, button to make sure this only accepts coal. That's very important. Kind of forget. And let me go dump off the extra copper here. Put that there. It, this thing, when it's everything is working, uh, it increases my consumption by over 50 megawatts. So when I don't need it just yet, we're not producing anything with it. May as well turn it off. Okay. Um, next. Off to the iron guy, so that shouldn't happen anymore. He should not pick up any iron this time. Nice. Lickety split. This guy is also not on. So... Um... <laughs> well, you get the idea. It, I think it definitely works. I guess we could hook him up. There we go. No, no, stop! Ah, he left without us. Well, it only had time to unload a little bit, but yeah, I think that works fine. So next thing we're going to do, I left my car. Ah, left my car way over there. I'm going to turn this off for now because we don't need all of this sucking power down either. And oh, that is producing a lot of pollution. Look at that pollution spike right there. Wow. Uh, oh, another thing I did is I added um, ba line balancers here and there. So that the the lines are balanced left to right side. It seems to be going. It seems to be pretty balanced after that point. That's good. I added uh, those all over the place for the other guys as well. All right. Um, the train actually is probably going to be back. I need to put down. One thing I need to do is put down more radars because all of this area that's slightly darker, I can't see where the train is. This area I can because I'm here. And these other areas are brighter because I have radars there. I need to put more distributed radars. At first, I was going to put them... Whoop, don't get hit. I was going to put them on the rail line. Okay, there we go. So you... Yeah, you, he had an empty spot, but he's not picking up any of that. Let's go ahead and turn this off, though, because we don't need this running while we're not here. Or while we're not doing anything with it. Let's head back to the, uh, the coal sale, pick up our car and then go do a little bit of building. So we're building the, uh, the electronic circuit cell next. I have a blueprint for that. Okay, stop here. And you know what? Yeah, you don't need to be moving either, so we may as well stop that. Uh, where we're gonna put him, we are going to put the electronic circuit guy right over here to the left. And I have a blueprint for it. 
I've been finding some cool blueprints on the uh, the Factorio Blueprints website, so we're gonna try one. It's a it's kind of a variation on a fairly standard design, so it's gonna look like that. Uh, we're gonna use those splitters in the middle to help keep the the belt balanced to help keep it compressed. That's the main change. Uh, the iron and well, you'll see when we build it. But one thing we have to do before we can do that is we have to clear a path for this guy. And I have, uh, I have six of these things in here now, so I can use 60 robots at once, and we'll see how that does. So where was it? Um, I need to delete, or move, one, two, three, five uh, substations worth of stuff. Okay, so you are this much. Two, three, four. And that, right? Should be all that. Just make sure I got it. Ooh, did I do more? I think I did more. Oh, that's all right, we can put it back. Okay, take all that and then grab this guy. Okay, substation should hook up. Yeah! And one thing I would like to watch is how fast this is draining my internal buffer. Yeah, I just drained an entire one. And how fast does it fill back up? And did I maybe run out of materials? I think I don't have the stops. Okay, let's grab those. There we go. Pretty sweet, and we'll have to fix this. Uh, and I'll, I, you know, I'll just worry about that later. So um, this is going to control the electronic circuit cell. We're gonna have iron coming in, copper coming in, and then an electronic circuit train going out. So first thing I think we probably need to do is we need to split the line. So here is the unloader I'm going to use. It's fairly compact. It's a variation on a blueprint I found on the Factorio Blueprints website. Uh, uses the substation so we can have a maximum number of offloaders and then the basically the belts get combined and balanced and combined and they end up with two outputs or rather just one output there one output there and then those are going to combine and I'll balance them whatever to make sure they're extra specially balanced so we have nice throughput and belt compression all that kind of good stuff actually uh, after looking at this though I think I'm going to reverse it and have the belts be coming over here so this one is going to be iron and then down here right beneath it there's going to be one doing copper that's going to give us two outputs so we'll have two belts of the copper and that is kind of useful because our blueprint that we're going to be using for the electronic circuit manufacturing we need uh, two iron and two copper lines so the copper is going to be outside on the outside lanes doing the uh, copper cables and then the iron is going to be here in the middle getting put into the electronic circuit assembler right there, and then going underground here, and then in between those underground belts, the electronic circuits will be off put. I found that this is um something I, variation on something I found uh, on that website as well. I think this is pretty cool because it has all these balancers in the middle to make sure your belt stays compressed. If you have like one side working and the other side not, it's not a big problem. Um, but, okay, so what I think I'm gonna do, I'm gonna reroute this so that the these bells, instead of coming out on this side, are coming out on this side, just for the maximum maximal use of our space. Okay, there we go. That's a lot more compact than I thought it was going to be, having to bring in two different things and two different unloading stations. I think that looks pretty nice. Uh, let's see. Next, we need to add the green circuits. So they need that much room. Let's see. The copper's on the bottom. This is actually perfect. Okay, let's put it uh, just like that. Kerblam! Okay, so this guy is going to be one copper line. This guy is going to be the other one. They've already been balanced a bunch of a bunch of times. They're super duper balanced. So we'll bring this guy down here. Uh, this guy will get an underground belt. He's gonna go there down the middle. Oh, no, that's wrong. That's wrong. That is wrong. That's so wrong. Okay, I almost screwed it up. So uh, it needs to be this guy and this guy, the outer ones. Those are the iron ones. And then the copper needs to, can you reach across there? You can, awesome. Okay, and I uh, put it down the wrong, <laughs> how many times are I gonna do that? Okay, pick that up. 
And then let's get this. This is the blueprint, by the way. Looks nice. Uh, let's put this one on the bar so I can use it a little easier. Okay, now let's look at the direction. Direction's important. There we go. And I think we could probably do um, the, the, the blueprint that I, where I download this on the Factorio Blueprints website. It said that this will compress three of these We'll uh, compress one red belt. We've got two red belts of output. So we could do six. I'm going to do six. Four, five. I probably don't have enough materials on me to do all of that. I think I ran out of belts, didn't I? Okay, do I have any belts on the car? Let's finish this up. We're going to have to hook up the rest of it next time. Yeah, we're out of time. And we're out of materials. Uh, I think this episode's probably going a bit long anyway. But there we go. There is the electronic circuit cell. And uh, this rail line will curve down around here. We'll have an off-loading kind of thing. I might even... I like how uh, compact these are. I might redesign this to be slightly less bulky. But next time, we will hook that up, and we will have trains zipping back and forth. Probably. <laughs> we, will have, we have so many things to build. But I'm having fun, and I hope you are too. We'll see you next time. Bye-bye.